Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel, to my viewers, my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me. I appreciate you more than you know. So thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. It means it means a lot. So thank you so much, everyone. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. As you can see, I am making a dent. I am so happy. So today I am going to do my book of the month club. This one is for April and um, I'll have in my link below in my description box. If you use my link and you haven't used this before, you can get your first book for $5. After that, it's $14.99. Um, and how it works is that they pick out five books for you um, for the book of the month club. And if you don't want one of those, it's easy enough to just click skip and skip a month. Um, if you do skip the month, you can't buy any other extra books. But if you do pick um, one of the books of that month, you can add from there uh, some collection of books. So it's just a really fun way to um, build up my collection and start getting back into reading. And I'm really appreciating that. I'm, you know, I'm just kind of doing a little here and there. Um, I don't have a lot of time to sit and, and read, but it's sometimes it's hard because it's like two o'clock in the morning and I'm just on my third chapter and it's like, oh, I got to go to bed. I got to go to bed. But anyway, it's just really fun. So the first one that I got for the book of the month club is this called The Hunting Wives. And again, all these people are new to me. I have no idea who Mae Cobb is. You know, it's got a little synopsis on the back about her. So that's always interesting to kind of see a little bit about the author. Um, of course, you could probably do some research, research and find some other books and what their comments were. And then inside the book, that's a little synopsis on the front. And this is why I chose this one. It just kind of sounded interesting. So it says the hunting wives share more than target practice, martinis and bad behavior in this novel of obsession, seduction, and murder. All right. Sophie O'Neill left behind an envy inspiring. I'm going to start that over. Sophie O'Neill left behind an envy. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? What's in my coffee? Gosh. All righty. Let's try that again, shall we? Sophie O'Neill left behind an envy-inspiring career and the stressful, competitive life of the big city Chicago to settle down with her husband and young son in a small Texas town. It seems like the perfect life with a beautiful home and idyllic rural community. But Sophie soon realizes that life is too quiet and she's feeling bored and restless. Then she meets Mago Banks, an alluring socialite who is part of the elite clique secretly known as the Hunting Wives. Sophie is completely drawn to Mago and swept into her mysterious world of late night target practice and dangerous partying. As Sophie's, as Sophia's curiosity gives way to full-blown obsession, she slips further away from the safety of her family and deeply into the nest of vipers. When the body of a teenage girl is discovered in the woods where the hunting wives meet, Sophie finds herself in the middle of a murder investigation and her life spirals out of control. So I thought it sounded interesting. Not really sure about it, but I thought it sounded interesting enough to give it a try. And this other one, um, Michelle from Books and Halls and Kristen from Moments of Sanctuary have both read this book and they both love this author, uh, Kristen Hanna. So I thought I would give um, this book a try. This is a, it wasn't the book of the month this, this month, but I think it, it was uh, one of their chosen books. So I just thought it sounded really interesting. And plus both girls, I love those, those girls and they gave it raving reviews. So I thought I would give this a try. So this is Alaska, 1974, unpredictable, unforgiving, untamed, for a family in crisis, the ultimate test of survival. And it says, Ernst Albright, a former POW, comes home from the Vietnam War, a changed and volatile man. When he loses yet another job, he makes an impulsive decision. He will move his family north to Alaska, 
while they will live off the grid in America's last true frontier. 13-year-old Lenny, a girl coming of age in a tumultuous time, is caught in the riptide of her parents' passionate, stormy relationship. She dares to hope that a new land will lead to a better future for her family. She is desperate for a place to belong. Her mother, Cora, will do anything and go anywhere for the man she loves, and if it means follow, even if it means following him into the unknown. At first, Alaska seems to be the answer to their prayers. In a wild, remote corner of the state, they find a fiercely independent community of strong men and even stronger women. The long sunlit days and the generosity of the locals make up for the Albright's lack of preparation and dwindling resources. But as winter approaches and darkness descends on Alaska, Ernst's fragile mental state deteriorates and the family begins to fracture. Soon the perils outside pale in comparison to the fret threats from within. In their small cabin, covered in snow, blanketed in 18 hours of night, Lenny and her mother learn the terrible truth. They are on their own. In the wild, there is no one to save them but themselves. In this unforgettable portrait of human frailty and resilience, Kristen Hanna reveals the indomitable character of the modern American pioneer and the spirit of the vanishing Alaska, a place of incomparable beauty and danger. The Great Alone is a daring, beautiful, stay up all night story about love and loss, the fight for survival and the wildness that lives in both man and nature. So doesn't that sound good? Yeah, well, scary. Scary, but sounds like it's something that you can maybe, everyone can relate to something probably in this book. And I know both uh, Michelle and Kristen gave this book great reviews. So I'm really looking forward to reading it. So again, I will leave the information in my link below. If you haven't used this before, your first book is only $5. You can skip months. You can cancel at any time. And yeah, so it just seems like a, a good way to maybe get into some new books and learn some new authors and just get back into the joy of reading and escape. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your book recommendations as well. And if you get this, I'd love to hear what books you chose for the month and how you're enjoying it. So take care, everyone, and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.